I will be presenting Christ of the Breadlines by Fritz Eichenberg. Eichenberg illustrates Jesus to be in a small town in the countryside. Along with the other individuals in the image, Jesus appears to be waiting in line for food or bread. Surrounding Jesus are individuals who appear to be poor, cold, vulnerable, and suffering, wearing not the most extravagant clothing. Compared to the other individuals, Eichenberg did not detail Jesus as much as he did with the other characters. However, Jesus, is, Jesus appears to be wearing a large coat and has his arms crossed to keep warmth. As a male in this image, Jesus has hair that goes possibly to or down his shoulders, and it may be imagined that he also has a beard. By placing Jesus in a bread line, Eichenberg conveys how Jesus' life mainly revolved around working with the poor and how he served and loved those who were misguided in life or struggled to find God. Through his position, Eichenberg expresses, expresses Jesus' values of love, sympathy, sacrifice, and understanding. Moreover, it demonstrates how Jesus identified and lived among the lowly and helped them find refuge and comfort. The wood engraving artist Fritz Eichenberg was born on October 24, 1901 in Cologne, Germany and died November 30, 1990 in Peacedale, Rhode Island. Because of his upbringing in Germany and the rise of the Nazis and the events of World War I, Eichenberg was not fond of the concept of war and it resulted in his decision to move his family to the U.S. during the 1930s. Eichenberg's anti-war belief may have influenced his work. this work as he wanted to exemplify how those who are, who are vulnerable to tragedy are in need of guidance which directly correlates to Jesus guiding the poor. This image informs me that Jesus loved everyone, but he strived to serve the poor and disabled first before those who are rich, wealthy, and able-bodied. Working and converting those who struggled in life, Jesus was gradually building the kingdom of God as he was guiding them to find hope and faith in their lives. This art piece impacts others to reflect upon their lives and question if they are doing the right thing and are humbling themselves before God. Lastly, the poor are comforted by this image as they know and see that Jesus is there for them to care and love. Those who do not know Jesus may be curious by this image as they can seek a newfound perception of who Jesus was. The ignorant and selfish may be challenged by this image as they only focus on themselves and how they can get into heaven and are blind to understanding what Jesus strives for society. In my imagination of Jesus in a holy reflection, I see him working in a busy corner store in the Excelsior district. Jesus is organizing foods among the aisles, but also attending to those who are in need of assistance with a very calm and inviting, and inviting demeanor. The customers are people who have been underrepresented in society and discriminated against historically. Inside the corner store, Jesus wears a plain white t-shirt, cargo pants, and casual work shoes. Jesus, who is a male, has short, smooth black hair, a growing beard, brown eyes, and a light brown skin color. Overall, Jesus is presentable and clean with no stains or marks on his attire. Because of his place as a normal worker among a community that has been hurt in my imagination, I related to the similar idea of Eichenberg's image that Jesus serves and loves the poor, either those in spirit or wealth. Through a modern viewpoint, the poor in my imagination are those who are victims of racism and violence, and Jesus is there to comfort and guide them, using the same values of love, hope, sacrifice, and service, as also an underrepresented figure through his skin color. I place Jesus in a marketplace that is located in the Excelsior district because my daily life has been a part of the Excelsior community, which through my eyes has been filled with peoples who are mistreated within society. Because I am Filipino and there is a great amount of Filipino people in the Excelsior, I wanted to imagine a Jesus that was very similar to me who still devoted his life to serving his community with love and compassion. Moreover, I imagine a Jesus who was a was a figure all could find refuge in and relate with despite not having the favored background or race. Thank you.